Hello Libra, happy birthday season, happy spooky season, happy October. So this is your October full moon love reading. It's a full moon in Aries, so today, October 20th, is the full moon if it's your birthday today. Happy birthday Libra. So this is going to be about secrets, reveals, and exposures because the moon, when it's full, is illuminating what's been hiding underneath the surface. Everything being done in the dark is coming to light. So that's what this reading is going to be about. We're about to find out who's coming into your energy. It's the full moon in Aries. Aries is all about childlike energy, baby energy, because they start the zodiac. So yeah, it's going to be about discovery, curiosity, revealing something. I'm hearing shuffle ones cut three times. Thank you, spirit guides of Libra, for coming through and letting us know who's the dominant energy coming towards Libra during this full moon in Aries. Dominant energy coming towards Libra. Okay, we have Virgo energy coming towards you, Libra. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is about working hard. You can tell, you know, he's working the assembly line, working the machinery, making sure everything's going well on the conveyor belt. This is about working hard. So someone feels like they really got to work to get to you or they are working to get to you. They're trekking to get to you in some sort of way, Libra. All right, let's get more energy about the secret being revealed. What's the reveal for the full moon in Aries for Libra? What's Libra's full moon reveal? Strength, Leo energy. This is about someone really finding the internal strength, the inner strength to come forward towards you. Let's get another energy coming out with strength. What's the other secret? King of Pentacle energy. This is a caretaker. This is someone who's very strong, family man. Someone really wants it all with you. They want the family vibe with you. They want to have kids with you. And they're working hard for it in some way. Energetically, physically, I don't know. Let's see. Full moon energy between Libra and this person. Full moon and Aries. Shuffle twice. Cut three times, they said. Full moon energy coming between Libra and Libra's person. That feels they need to work so hard to get to Libra. Childhood, innocence, does make sense with this Aries energy with the full moon. So this person really wants to have fun with you. Even though they're working so hard to get to you, what they really want is to have fun with you. This could also indicate they want kids with you. More about this person towards Libra. What's the circumstances of their reconnection? Tree, grounding. So you are going to meet up with this person again. But I feel like in some way it's either going to lead to closure or you guys are going to find common ground in some way. It's going to be some sort of understanding or some sort of practical aha moment between you two. Bottom of the deck energy is synergy. So let's see what else is coming towards Libra and Libra's person with this full moon in Aries, energetically or physically. The energy coming towards Libra with the full moon in Aries. Way too many flipped out energy coming towards Libra. Rabbit. This is someone who's very sexually attracted to you. You know, they have a phrase, fuck like rabbits for a reason, Libra. So someone's still very sexually attracted to you. They want to hop towards you. Kind of links to you with childhood, innocence, children, family energy, family tree, trees, family, branching out connections. I do feel like this person actually wants a whole ass family with you. Let's get more about what's coming up between Libra and this person under the light of the full moon. Creature's paw. Someone's creeping in. Someone's trying to claw at you. But I almost feel like this is like a nice creature. A good creature. What's coming in for Libra with the full moon and Aries? Okay, we're going to take them both. Look at this. We have tree and tree. I do think you and this person are going to find some sort of common ground. But I also feel like this is an energy about you. It could be family tree. I keep hearing family tree. And we have I. Sees all, knows all. So this person has been looking in at you for a while. They've had their mind's eye on you, maybe even their physical eye on you for a while. They definitely want to come forward towards you. I don't even know if you've been with this person before. Maybe not. But this is definitely someone that wants to come forward towards you and start a whole family, Libra. <laughs> all right, more for Libra and this person. Self-love is coming out. Okay. 
I don't know if this is for you. I don't know if this is for this person. Maybe you both have some more self-love exploration to do, but I'm hearing this is what needs to happen before this person completely reveals themselves. I feel like, I mean, self-love is a lifelong journey, but I feel like in terms of really attracting the best partner that you can grow with and start from a steady grounding place, self-love has to be in the picture before finding this person. It's the prerequisite to finding this person. More for Libra. Otherwise, you're trapped. 24. Funny that they both add up to 6 or break down. Oh, that's a 34, actually. 7 energy. So 7 energy is very celestial, actually. But I feel like it's almost like if you don't trust your guides, if you don't trust your internal spirit, you're always going to feel trapped. And maybe this person feels trapped with the fact that they feel like they have to work so hard to get to you. But I do think it's all to find common ground in some way. All right, let's get more. Let's get an archetype for Libra. What's the archetype for Libra with this full moon in Aries? How does this person feel about Libra through an archetype? What's the reveal? The sword. Okay. This person's willing to fight for you. I feel like I'm just seeing a visual of a knight drawing his sword, charging forward. I feel like this person is definitely willing to fight for you and willing to go through hell and back to get to you. All right, let's get more for Libra. Final messages for Libra before we pull charms. Find your star family in this cosmic game of hide and seek. There's so much about family, childhood, full moon in Aries, which is the child of the zodiac tree tree family tree find your star family i do feel like this person is going to be your end all be all person i know that's a big statement and i don't say it too often but i mean there's so much about family another tree cut away what is no longer needed for you so maybe a part of self-love too is maybe cutting off that x that won't get out of the picture that you're kind of like back and forth with or it could be an energy of like a bad habit that's like if you cut it you're going to be embodying more self-love whatever self-love means to you it means cutting away embody that energy but also know that it is cutting away what isn't good for you so it's like self-love before you meet this person but i feel like this person wants family with you period all right energy for libra coming through charms for libra with the full moon and aries So on top of the sword, we have Eiffel Tower energy, a faraway place energy. It's almost like destination energy too. This person wants to get with, to you, get with you too. That's why they're charging with the sword. It's like they don't care about the distance. I'm hearing Ain't No Mountain lyrics. And then we have Rabbit. Then we have this, it's like not even just sexual attraction because that's the first thing I mentioned. But rabbits are prolific, they start families a lot. And with this heart and locket energy on top of it, I feel like you're the person they want to start the family with. You're the person that has their heart that they're willing to do that with. So it's like they're willing to go through hell and back to get to you, Libra. I really like this energy, actually. So I hope this resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in another Mufe's reading very soon.